uh, facility flow analysis technique applying the front to a chart. The first step, if we have five processes or five products, and this is the routing for the products, they go through those steps. They always starting at R as receiving and S as sending. So we have the five products. Each one has a different route. They have to go through all those machines, all those steps to always start with receiving and ending with sending to storage. Uh, this video it will be a lecture one or video one of explaining the facility, the flow analysis technique. Uh, more video will be available in the playlist. Okay, so we're gonna test how efficient the sequence R, A, B, C, D, E, F, S okay if we have those five jobs each one has a specific route and we're gonna but however in the manufacturing plant the machine are laid layouted or in this sequence so we're gonna test how efficient if we're gonna do those five products okay and the available sequence in the, of the machine the machine are placed in this sequence the first part would be to find the relative importance depend on the total weight of all products. We're manufacturing 2,000 of each product per day, and the weight for those products are 0 0.5 kilo, 9 kilo, 0 0.5 kilo, 15, and 3.75. Okay, so we have a very heavy product here. So by multiplying the quantity per day times the weight, we have the total weight, and then we consider the light one the most light one as one by dividing 1000 by 1000 and here 18 over 1000 1000 over 1001 and then here 30 divided by 1000 we have 30 and 7.5 so this is the relative importance the second step would be as follow if you're gonna do product one if you're gonna do a product one as we see here Okay, so the product one, it goes, the first step to do product one, it goes from R to A. It goes from R to A, so you put, and the relative importance of this value is 1. So you put 1 here, R, A, A, B, so you put 1 here, B, D, D, C, F, S, B, D. Okay, so A, B, B, D, so you put 1 okay dc we put one here over the dc and then we have cf and fs cf we put one here and fs as well we put one here on the fs okay second job is r straight to b so starting from r to b Okay, and we put 18. The relative importance of this is 8. After putting the whole values on the system, I have to remind you about one. So we have RC, the relative importance is 7.5. So RC is 7.5. So we do the same way as we did. So we get all those numbers. After putting them, the second step is to find the total of all those values find the total so 1 plus 18 plus 7.5 plus 1 plus 30 so 30 plus 31 32 50 57.5 so we find the total of all the rows after calculating the summation of all the value we find the total of every rows okay 18 plus 1 plus 1 20 and summation of 283 now it's time to find the penalty i'll give you an example for example we have here r a which is one okay but our sequence the machine and the plant has been set up as r a b so we only moved one step from machine r to machine a another example if we have r b is the one here okay however r b so we have the machine layout and the plant is R, A, B. So to move from R to B directly, we have to do one, two steps. Therefore, we have to multiply this value times two. So this value will be 36. R, C. So we have one, two, three steps 
So we have to multiply 7.5 times 3. This is 22.5. Okay. So we did this for all the unit above the diagonal line the same way. For the unit below the diagonal line, we'll have an example. So if we have machine B sending to A, okay, the steps, for example, product 3, it has to go from machine B to A. However, in the plant, we have the layout as R, A, B, C. So to go from B to A, as if we're going backward. So the value here, 1, will multiply directly by 2. Okay, is one step above the line multiplying by one as it is forward, below the line as it is backward, it goes backward from B to A, you multiply the steps times two, so this one will be two. Uh, so 15.5 for the CA, two steps are multiplied by four, so 102. 18 plus 7.5, 25.5 times four. From D to C is one step, so 19 times two is 38. And from F to A, okay, we have F to A, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and we'll multiply it, so 5 steps, times 2 because it's backwards, so times 10, so this one is 300, okay, and from F to B is 4 steps, so times 2 because it's backwards. And then we find the summation for all the penalty value, which is the one in circles, and we put it here. So we find the v v penalty value 244.4, 193.5. So we, we're adding the values in circles. So 38 plus 240. Okay, 3 plus 31 plus 102 is 136, 153.5. And here is 1 and 309 and then we find the summation for this value is 177.5 okay uh, 177.5 and then we we calculate the efficiency of the line layout efficiency is equal to 83 divided by 177.5 is equal to 26%. So this layout as it is, the machine layout in a system is only 26% efficient. So our aim is to minimize the penalty value as much as possible. Our aim is to minimize the penalty value as much as possible. By having the penalty uh, by having the penalty is large amount, this is driving this value down. So we have to place them in a way to minimize this penalty value. Especially we should target the one with higher value. So for example, 300, so we need as much as possible to place F next to A. Well, to be honest, we start with the one having the most frequent uh, correlation or relation. It's like A, B, B, A, for example, we have CD, DC, CD, CD, and CAD. So C and D, they must be placed next to each other. So I'm going to repeat this very quickly. So if you have the machine in a manufacturing plant and the machine are laid out in this manner from A to S, okay, from R to S, R is for receiving from raw material and S for sending them to the storage. And we have five products and each product has a specific route. The roots uh, we have here, the one shown in the system, R to S, we, find, we start by calculating the relative importance. The relative importance is the total weight in this example. The relative importance, it could be the amount of production, it could be the uh, profit you obtain from each product. So it's very subjective. In this case, we consider the total weight. It is... As you could see here, we get the total weight we divided by itself, 18,000 divided by itself, so it's 18, and we get the relative importance. And then we start from R to A, from R, from R to A, okay, relative importance is 1, so we put 1, okay. From, second one, from R to B, R to B, we're doing the second product of 18, so we put 18 here in the system. So I need to repeat, we always have to do it in a way to make sure that uh, we need to minimize the penalty value. After we put all those values, we calculate the penalty. From R to A is one step, so the penalty is one. From R to B, because it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
to RAAB, so two steps. Those are the machine layout in a system. We're trying to optimize this. So we're trying to minimize the penalty. In this case, there are two steps, so multiplied by two. From B to A, it's backward. One step would be multiplied by two because it's backward. Okay, if you have any question, write to my email address.